Hey there, this is Ling Wong from Slyberry, um, where my mission is to support health and wellness coaches like you to get inspired, motivated, and equipped to get out there, make it big without having to reinvent the wheel. Well, today I'm going to share with you an experience that I had, um, what I call my little male chim hiccup. So, long story short, um, a couple of weeks ago, when my newsletter was supposed to go out, instead of that little nice note saying, hey, that 1,093 emails has gone out, I got a notification from the compliance team saying, oh, your email is blocked because um, you are having some problem with it. And good news, it won't get resolved until the team is back in the office on Monday. So my first reaction was, oh, panic. And my rational conscious mind went to the place of worst case scenario. What if they just shut down my account and walk away with my list of 1,100 subscribers and I have to build it from scratch again? Holy crap. But then I caught myself. And then I asked myself, what makes me um, go to the worst case scenario? Um, what is the belief behind my thinking that it has, I am expecting the worst? So I caught my thought and I thought, I have this always in the back of my mind, that little limiting belief that says, um, you know, you, you can't be, things can't be that smooth, you had it good, you have, you know, something is going to go wrong. Um, you built this business so fast and it's growing so well and you're working five hours a day, you know, you haven't paid your due, something is going to go wrong, it, it's not going to be that good. But then I... And, and then I say, okay, so this is the limiting belief behind it. And think about it, who said that? It's me, it's my head and other people. But is that true? Is that really true? Is that 100% true? I can't say it's 100% true. Why not, right? Why can't I desire and deserve a lifestyle business that I want? that is going to support me, that is going to help me enjoy the life that I want to live without, quote unquote, paying my dues. Why can't I enjoy my family and have a business that meets, that allows me to fulfill my passion and my mission? Why not? That's just a limiting belief that tells me something's going to go wrong, right? Your point of view creates your reality. So if you have some limiting belief system that just doesn't allow you to see through, um, see beyond it, then it, you know, the, the, the good thing that you decide just won't happen for you. So I cut that belief, I release that release that I release that belief and then, you know, sort of plug along for the rest of the weekend. Um, yeah, my little um, my little subconscious, my, my, my little rational mind was still like, um, you know, have that little sort of like little thing, you know, bugs me a little bit. But heart of heart, I know that it's all going to be good and it's just going to iron itself out. And of course, Monday morning comes, everything is, everything is like, okay, you know, it was just some mistakes and email went out, no problem. <laughs> my slit, my list didn't grow, go away. It's, keeps growing, everything is good. So, lesson learned for you. When you come to the place of fear of worst case scenario, when your little rational brain tells you something is going to go wrong, ask yourself, what is it? What is it? You know, where does this thought come from? What is this limiting belief system that gets you to think that? So that's your little assignment for today. And just be mindful, just be conscious, and you will find things that, is, that has been blocking you from taking it to the next level. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like more um, tips on how to take your, you know, take your business, take your work to the next level, Hop over, visit slibrary.com and check out our awesome tips and of course the free gift 
Make get out there, make it big, success toolkit. Bye for now.